um, I'm just going to do a quick introduction of how the day is going to go. So um, as you can see, we're in a really beautiful place and we've already told some of you how we ended up here. Um, thanks to the city of Paris, uh, we are able to organize it at the Académie du Climat, which is a place that promotes socio-environmental initiatives, especially aimed uh, at the younger public. And it's also the town hall of the 4th arrondissement of Paris. Um, yes, and if you, I think we've told you where the toilets are located, but there, when you exit here, you go uh, right and left down the corridor. Um, and the program for today is, um, we're gonna start with uh, bar camps. Uh, we're gonna have some lightning talks before lunch. Uh, then we're going to have a lunch together over there in the room. Um, and then in the afternoon, we're going to have uh, more presentation and more uh, bar camp workshops. Um, and I will be conducting short interviews of the contributors. So I want to take the opportunity that you're all here to be able to do little short clips of you uh, really easy. So I would really appreciate if you guys came to see me at some point and said, I want to be in the interview because it allows the other members of the community to see who, who is the Open Food Fact community. Um, and yeah, and then to, uh, in the evening, we're going to get some drinks just in the same buildings, uh, but we'll all go together. And finally, tomorrow, uh, we're going to have the General Assembly from 10 to 12 for the Association of Open Food Facts. Um, and in the afternoon, more uh, working together, collaborating and brainstorming. Yes, so I'm Gala and I've uh, joined Open Food Facts this year as the community manager. Uh, so I think I've exchanged with a lot of you online but it's really nice to finally meet you in person. Yes. Well, well. <laughs> oh, it's still me? Oh. <laughs> yes, so more in detail. This is what's gonna be happening this morning. We're gonna... Um, Continue with, so at 10 we start the uh, bar camp. We're gonna tell you more about what that's about in a minute. Uh, then we're gonna reconvene here at around 12.15. Uh, 12 so we're all back here to listen to the lightning talks presented by some members of the community. Then it's lunch and then we have a keynote speaker who's coming to give us a special presentation. Yes, bar camp and some, I think, some lightning talks as well in the afternoon. Yes, not in the afternoon. Uh, but we will have a group photo taking at around four. So please, it will be really cool if everyone joins in. And we'll have some uh, snack around that time as well. And sing happy birthday, maybe, to Open Food Facts. Cool. Thank you, Gala. So uh, I'm Stefan. And so I've been presenting open food facts like for hundreds and hundreds of times over the last 10 years and there are many different ways to present open food facts. But I think the most accurate one is that uh, we are a community. We are a community of people who think that food is so important that, uh, well, it's not only up to food, the food industry or the governments to legislate, etc., that we can do something about it. And so what, what we do is that we, we try to gather all the data and publish it in a, what, what now is called a digital public good, uh, a big database in, a, in open data. And then we try to make sense of this data and, uh, so that it can be used by tons of different people for many, many, many cool uses. And so one thing I'm very proud of that I think that everyone in this room can be very proud of is on the next slide. And that's this uh, big, huge uh, database of food products that we built together. Uh, 
it's it's amazing when you think about it. It's like two more than two and a half million uh, of food products in a big database in open data, and what's what's even more uh, fantastic is that we we made transparency the norm, right? We so we could have uh, created a lobby and fought to, to at the European level to, to make transparency a, a law, but we started from the from from the bottom and uh, and painstakingly year after year we we met we transparency bec became a norm and, and that's really cool. And so on the next slide, just one example. This is our new uh, mobile app that, that I hope uh, everyone uh, has seen by uh, by now. And one thing that is very information and uh, something that a lot of people are in this room are working on and many other people are working on is taking this raw data about food products and analyzing it like ingredients, nutrition, computing scores to, so that we can turn this data into some actionable information and knowledge that people can use to act in, the di in their daily life to choose better products, improve products and all that. Um, and I'm going to give the mic to Charles. Charles is going to tell you a little bit more about our next projects. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm uh, Charles, Charles Nepot on Slack. And uh, I'm in charge of uh, funds, uh, partner some partnerships, uh, helping the strategy, and, and so on. Um, this is our main uh, topics that we are working on. Uh, actually, uh, nowadays, uh, focusing on more community community participation and, enga and engagement. Uh, this meeting is a proof of that, uh, and we expect to uh, to uh, to get more and more participation, more and more uh, meetings and contributions from all of you and from all the community. Uh, this is very important for us because you are the project. We are all together the project. And uh, the project is made by the people, not by the technology. Um, also, uh, you may know that uh, we have won the Google Impact Challenge. We uh, have a blog post uh, with detailed information about it. And so the main goal of this is to deploy the EcoScore all over Europe. It has already started and it will be uh, continuing in uh, 2022 and 2023. Uh, the new mobile app. I hope you all have the mobile, the new mobile app on your phones. Of course, the development will continue with many, many things to uh, to come. Uh, a boost on packaging, uh, that's very new because we have just signed uh, and get uh, get a fund from this. A new taxonomy, easier inf interfaces, uh, a communication campaign in France. Uh, that is very interesting and very important for the EcoScore also. Uh, so um, we are working on this. Um, uh maybe it's not um I, uh, it's it's not very sure but a collaborative platform for products evolutions that will allow us to see the evolutions of products in the in the time in the hi history and to understand if we have uh, concrete impacts on the product uh, the products formulation okay uh and then Two um, also funded the program. Uh, the one, the first one, David Food uh, for better support of beans and seeds bio biodiversity in the database. Uh, it's a big European consortium we are involved in, and uh, Contribalim, uh, which is a collective, uh, um, which deals with collective usages of alimentation. And Opal Food Facts will deliver a tool to compute our score for recipes. Uh, which is also uh, a new uh, a new feature uh, coming uh, in the next few months, and a special effort also uh, this year on data quality, and of course your ideas also. Uh, I think we uh, will get some uh, today, Pierre. And as you've seen, 2022 is the year we kind of rebooted Open Food Fact for its 10th anniversary. So a uh, new graphic charter, new mobile app, new website, but uh, we didn't even mention new blog, etc., etc. And the question that asks the question, what is next? What is beyond what is for 2023 and the next 10 years? Uh, so, I mean, 
I've just put uh, some of the exa some examples we could look at cosmetics. Uh, there's this big problem of the circular economy that c open product fact could address. But even beyond, uh, there are the topic of prices, product recalls. Uh, you probably have seen that in all of your countries. Many product recalls. Uh, taking the knowledge panels that are in the app to the next level, uh, nutrition estimates, you call it. So basically, those two days are to build the future of open food fact. It's the opportunity to chat, to discuss, and to understand what's next for the project.